Attention, avid Pittsburgh Steelers fans. We have a first-hand scoop on the promising future of Roman Wilson, the new receiver making waves in the football scene. Since Deontay Johnson's departure, the receiver position in the Steelers has been under scrutiny. Depth at this position has been a concern, but with the selection of Roman Wilson in the third round of the draft, it seems the team is taking steps to address this gap. Wilson, a talented young prospect from the University of Michigan, is poised to make waves in his rookie season. According to a detailed analysis by Gordon McGinnis of Pro Football Focus, Wilson finds himself in a privileged position among rookie receivers in the league. McGinnis ranked the situations of rookie receivers and placed Wilson 10th in terms of favorable circumstances for standing out. This assessment is based on the expectation that Wilson will fill the role of the number two receiver in the Steelers, working in tandem with standout receiver George Pickens. What makes Wilson's situation so favorable? For starters, Johnson's recent departure has left a void that Wilson is well-positioned to fill. With the projection of receiving 80 or more passes in his rookie season, it's evident that the Steelers are willing to trust him to significantly contribute to the team's passing game. Furthermore, the uncertainty surrounding the potential acquisition of an established receiver via trade has left the door open for Wilson to shine even more. But what can we really expect from Roman Wilson on the field? Although he's slightly shorter in stature than some of his position counterparts, standing at 5 feet 10 and 3 quarters inches, his speed and agility are impressive. At the 2024 NFL Combine, Wilson made a lasting impression by running the 40-yard dash in 4.39 seconds, showcasing his explosiveness and ability to separate from defenders. His agility was also evident in the 4.07-second shuttle drill and the 6.89-second three-cone drill, contributing to a relative athletic score, RAS, of 8.59 out of 10, a testament to his outstanding athletic ability. But beyond physical metrics, what truly sets Wilson apart is his mindset and playing style on the field. He's been compared to Steelers legendary receiver Heinz Ward for his willingness to make tough plays and his ability to win in congested areas of the field. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty blocking for his teammates and has a natural knack for finding spaces and opposing defenses. Although negotiations to acquire a receiver via trade are still ongoing, the Steelers seem confident in Wilson to take on a prominent role in the team's offense. In a recent interview on the Jim Rome Show radio program, Steelers general manager Omar Khan expressed optimism about the team's future, highlighting the crucial role Wilson will play in achieving the ultimate goal, winning the Super Bowl. Roman Wilson is in a prime position to shine in his rookie season with the Pittsburgh Steelers. With his unique combination of athletic skills and hard-nosed playing mentality, he's poised to make an immediate and significant contribution to the team. Fans can eagerly anticipate seeing him in action during training camp and the preseason, and they'll closely follow his progress as the regular season approaches. Stay tuned for all updates on this exciting young talent. Steelers players are loving Arthur Smith's offense. After a tumultuous two-and-a-half-year stint with Matt Canada as the Pittsburgh Steelers' offensive coordinator, a new era with Arthur Smith has players feeling optimistic about the future. Several players were unhappy with Canada last season, which influenced his firing after the Week 11 loss to the Cleveland Browns. What I'm hearing from the Steelers is that the players absolutely love Arthur Smith's offense, wrote Mark Cabelli of The Athletic in X. One told me it's unreal. It's going to be interesting to see it in action. OTAs kick off Tuesday. The Steelers will be on the field for practices over the next four weeks. The Steelers will have a new rushing scheme under Smith's leadership, and they are expected to be a run-focused team. That has been Smith's hallmark throughout his coaching career as a head coach in Atlanta and as the offensive coordinator of the Tennessee Titans. Smith primarily uses outside zone, but he could implement gap scheme runs that the Steelers frequently used under Canada. How Najee Harris fits into Smith's offense will be something to watch. That factor reportedly played a significant role in why the Steelers did not exercise the fifth-year option on Harris. Last season, with Atlanta, Smith used three-plus wide receivers only 18% of the time, which was by far the lowest percentage in the NFL, according to Warren Sharp of Sharp Football. 
Last year, the Steelers had 71% of their plays with three wide receivers on the field, the 10th highest in the entire NFL. With limited depth in the wide receiver room this year, it wouldn't be surprising to see that again. At first glance, Smith is a significant improvement over Canada. At least he has a track record of being a successful offensive coordinator in the NFL. Things didn't go well for Smith as a head coach in Atlanta, but what he did with Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry in Tennessee cannot be discounted. Breaking news for all Steelers fans. The situation in the Vikings camp is heating up with the absence of their star, Justin Jefferson, at the start of the team's organized activities. Today, as the Vikings kicked off their voluntary workouts, the most notable absence was that of Justin Jefferson, the team's star wide receiver. According to ESPN reports, Jefferson was conspicuously absent at the start of this week's practices. But what lies behind this surprising absence? It seems that waters are turbulent in Minnesota due to ongoing contract negotiations between the receiver and the team. Jefferson, a three-time Pro Bowl selection, is in the final season of his rookie contract and has been in talks with the Vikings management to secure a long-term extension. However, this isn't the first time Jefferson has made headlines related to his contract. In 2023, he was also a topic of conversation when he chose to skip most of the off-season voluntary program before showing up for mandatory minicamp and training camp. In response to this situation, Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell has tried to calm the waters by expressing his confidence that everything will be resolved favorably. O'Connell emphasized Jefferson's importance to the team, both on and off the field, highlighting his positive energy and invaluable contribution to the organization. But O'Connell's words aren't the only ones resonating in Minnesota. General Manager Quasi Adolfo Mensa has also spoken about the possibility of a new contract for Jefferson, dismissing any rumors of a potential trade for the receiver instead of extending his contract. Now, what could be the cost of this new extension? Reports indicate that Jefferson could secure a deal surpassing $30 million per season, a figure that reflects his status as one of the league's standout receivers. This amount isn't surprising, especially considering that other receivers, like Amon R.A. St. Brown of the Detroit Lions, have secured similarly lucrative deals during this offseason. Therefore, Steelers fans, we urge you to stay tuned to this evolving situation. The saga of Justin Jefferson's contract is in full swing, and we'll be here to provide you with all the updates as they unfold. Don't go anywhere. And there you have it, Steelers fans, exciting news and fresh updates straight from the football scene. From Roman Wilson's promising debut to changes in the offense under Arthur Smith's direction, and not forgetting the saga of Justin Jefferson's contract with the Vikings, it's been a day full of emotions. But now we want to hear your opinion. What do you think about this news? Are you excited about Wilson's arrival and what it could mean for the team? What do you hope to see in the new Steelers offense under Arthur Smith? And what do you think Justin Jefferson should do with his contract? Leave us your comments below, give us a like if this news excited you as much as it did us, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more updates. Stay tuned for all the latest in the world of football and your Pittsburgh Steelers here on our channel. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, fans.